Hello friends, welcome to Truth of Physics. Today in this video, I will discuss or I will derive the expression of LX, LY and LZ in spherical polar coordinate system. Now these are what LX, LY and LZ are the in quantum mechanics. These are the uh, angular momentum or more specifically orbital angular momentum. Now, uh, what is uh, the mm, momentum PX? Px is equals to minus i h cut del over del x, right? We know this. Now, and we know in classical mechanics. Now, these are the expression. These are the required expression which I will derive in this video. These are the results. These are the result. So you can you have to remember these results. A very much important result in quantum mechanics in the study of quantum mechanics. Now, what is L? The angular momentum. We know that. Uh, uh, there is two type of momentum. What is linear moment? One is linear momentum, which is this, and another is angular momentum, which is this. Now, angular momentum L uh, is in classical mechanics. What L? These are vectors. So these are vectors. L vector is equals to R cross P. Right now. We have to study in spherical polar coordinate system means we have to study uh, the expressions in uh, that means this L vector is what in three dimensional space in 3D right. So the 3D form of this the normal so we have to first find this and then when we uh, got this thing then if we cross R cross P then we will get the angular momentum and obviously it's uh, components lx i cap plus ly z cap and lz k cap and then we can calculate this thing these things okay now so we have to find its three-dimensional form this is 1d form so the three-dimensional form is very much easy and that is the p vector is equals to minus i h cross h cut gradient now gradient is what gradient is del del y j plus del del z k cap so using the concept of curvilinear coordinates i can write that uh, this the gradient operator in spherical polar coordinate looks like this uh, e1 cap or more simply i can write r cap del over del r plus 1 r r center 1 by r del del theta if you want that uh, how i can derive this or how can i get this I'll, if you want that so if you may uh, comment below me that you want this video then i will uh, discuss that how this you, you can generate any type of uh, things you can uh, express the gradient operator in any coordinate system using the concept of cartilage coordinate system so one by r del del theta um, theta cap plus okay plus 1 by wait yeah r sin theta del over del phi phi cap so r theta phi cap this is the expression of uh, gradient operator okay now we have to um, we have to find this so l vector is equals to r cross p right so r cross p means r vector is what r vector means r mo modulus of r magnitude of r into r cap so this will r into del del r r cap cross r cap right this is the first term and you can easily understand the r cap cross r cap is equal to zero so the first term will be zero now next term this and this so this r and this r will be cancelled out and only we left with we are left with del by del theta r cap cross theta cap now use this r theta and phi now use this cycle use this cycle so r cross theta will be phi okay r cross theta will be phi so this is nothing but our phi plus this and this will be 1 by sin theta and del over del phi r cross phi now i can write here this will be del over del theta r cross theta means phi cap plus 
1 by sin theta and this this thing r cross phi means r cross phi means minus theta so this will be minus theta okay now what are the, i have to use here now our actual thing is done now what we have to do as we want to find what as we want to find the expression the expression lx ly and lz lx l1 and lz means the lx i cap ly j cap and lz k cap so i have to make these things converted in i cap j cap and k cap and that we can do with using the formulations of what now these are the expression of theta cap and phi cap in terms of i cap and j cap now how i got this uh, terms how i got this expression if you want to understand the, this from the basis then you can check out the video the link of the video i will give in the description box uh, the spherical polar coordinate system there i have derived this equation and uh, all the um, necessary details or the properties of spherical polar coordinate system okay so i'm i will just put this uh, here and then what happens uh, i'm just writing the, this now now after putting the values of theta cap and phi cap theta cap and phi cap in this equation in the equation of l you will get and after rearranging all the things after rearranging the uh, ith component and uh, giving that in the parenthesis and all the things in j and the j components in one bracket and the k component in the last term then you will get like this result where the if you uh, express l in terms of lx i cap plus lyj cap plus lz k cap then you can easily understand that this component is what this is nothing but our lx right because this is the component of i this is the ith component that means this is lx similarly this is what this is the jth component that means this is our uh, ly and this is nothing but our l z now you can easily uh, match this result with our previous uh, result which i have uh, written here these two things are just the same so i think that you have understood that how you can find or you can evaluate uh, the expression of uh, uh, lx ly and lz in spherical polar coordinate system so hope this video is very much helpful and uh, you got many things you got no many things uh, if you wanted this type of this type of videos on or uh, many explanatory type of videos or if you have any doubt in any topic then you can uh, just free you can you are free to uh, express your thoughts in the comment section i will definitely make the videos on the topics and uh, take care of yourself thanks for watching